Hi, this is a tarot message for the sign of Gemini. You can also look in your chart and see uh, what planets you have in Gemini and what house it's in to see how it will affect you. Um, also, you could be a cross watcher and this message could be for you if you're watching for someone who's a Gemini. Um, I just wanted to let you know too that if you were looking for a personal reading, you can go to my website or email me. That information's down below. Also, if you uh, wanted to see daily collective tarot readings, I do those on TikTok, and that's also below. Also, I do have another channel if any of you are interested in um, like reality, consciousness, stuff like that. I talk about that on my other channel, So, and that's down below too. But I did go ahead and I pulled three cards from the Alchemical Visions Tarot deck to see what the overall energy, the theme of the reading is. And I'm going to be using my fairy cards today um, instead of the archetype. So we will get different types of messages. So um, the overall energy, I got the three of pentacles. Um and really, this whole message that I'm looking at, it's about building yourself, like you're ascending in a way. Now, the Three of Pentacles can talk about collaboration with other people, um, but it's building something. It could be building a business, building um, anything in your life, but essentially, it's building up yourself, okay? Um, the first card I got was the Page of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, but this is a passionate card. This is a young card. Um, meaning that, uh, it could be someone younger than you or it's new. Um, but also this card talks about what arises in you is, um, basically, uh, giving attention to it and addressing it and going forward with what arises in you. And then we've got the 10 of cups, which this is like the ultimate happy um, emotional fulfillment card but again see how they have the ladder here up to the ten of cups this is like basically you are ascending um, up this letter ladder to this ten of cups so that's a looks really good so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of uh, the Oracle cards and then we'll get into the fairy and the tarot okay so the first oracle card I got is Falling from the Alice in Wonderland deck. And this is the unknown, so this is kind of the in-between. This can indicate that you've left something behind, that you've um, basically jumped off the cliff. So you could have uh, started something or thrown yourself into something, um, away from something, but you don't know where you're going to land yet. and. Also, I got Thunder, which is a big dramatic change, okay, and completion in reverse, which means that you're, you might have, uh, like, jumped and then turn around and cling to the cliff, okay? This is saying let go, let go. Yeah, you might have really thrown yourself into some kind of creative endeavor or put yourself out there in some way. And there, there's a need to let go of control of what's going to happen with it, okay? Um, the creative intelligence means that you're being gifted with all of this creativity or this idea or whatever it was that you jumped into, okay? And um, it will bring fruit eventually. It will bring you to the Ten of Cups, the Three of Coins. It will build, basically. And the last oracle card, and this is really, really amazing. You got raw, raw, real. Okay, raw, raw, real is that you are just being completely authentic. This is being the real you. Um, she's naked in this card because it's basically showing who you really are. You're just, it's like done following rules. It's this is who I am. This is what I want to express and being you going for you okay so real quick at the bottom of the deck I've got the dark lady 
this is the surrender to divine power so it's like you can reach this in many different ways but one of the most profound ways is through deep grief sorrow it's that when you feel that hopelessness and you let go then this can come in basically um, the knowledge the secrets of the dark lady can come in okay so the first card you got is the journeyman okay so this is saying that you get some flash of insight some idea something you want to act on and you jump um you go for it okay um clarified by the knight of swords this is like acting fast on it taking a leap um fast movement okay the next fairy card you got is undressing of a salad and it's in reverse this indicates that there is chaos and out of chaos something is created okay but there's this chaos and someone could have said something or did something that caused you to feel hurt okay they could have thought your idea or what you started or the thing that you're doing was a bad idea um, or said something critical, ignored it. Maybe, maybe no one's looking because then I wanted to clarify the three of swords and I got the three of wands. Um, this could is indicating you're waiting for your time to shine. So this could be, like I said, someone, um, it's like not being recognized, noticed. Um, someone's not recognizing you. Um, but it also is uh, setting out on a new path, too. Now, the next card that you got, I forget, the Singer of Intuition. Um, but it came in in reverse. Um, this is a need to listen to your intuition. Because I feel like this chaos is going to throw you into this like older energy. Or cause these... like. It's going to trigger this hurt to come up, this pain to come up that's already been within you, but maybe you didn't know it was buried in there. Now, it's clarified that need to listen to your intuition. It's clarified by the justice reverse. So I feel like there was something, there was a loss or something was unfair. You're seeing it as unfair. And also that what came out with it is the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is indicating that you need to be in the Queen of Wands version of you. Meaning that um, she's a very creative um, power and also attractive power. This is like um, being yourself, being your real self. Um, and knowing that... It's like knowing... knowing who you are and the beauty within you okay this is what she does or how she is and the next card that you got is the singer of transfiguration and this one came in reverse as well which is indicating and there's a transformation that is going to take place in you some old pattern of a way of being or thinking is going to be reborn into a, a the better version of you. Now the cards that came out to clarify this are really awesome because first I got the Ace of Wands. Okay, this is new passionate beginnings is what this stands for. But in this deck, it's interesting because it says I can't wait for you to see you the way I see you. So this is going to talk about, um, you can say, like a higher consciousness, um, God, whatever it is, that term that you use, okay? But this is like, if you could only see <laughs> what I see in you. You could also be thinking this about someone too, but I'm really seeing someone looking at you like this. So not only is there like this higher consciousness looking at you saying, if you could see yourself the way I see you, then you would um, basically be this in this Queen of Wands energy. And I've got the Page of Wands here. So this is like 
going out, making your move, letting yourself be seen, but it's like young, so it might be a little insecure about doing it. Um, for some of you too, this could indicate someone coming towards you, but, um, or you're making a move towards someone who doesn't see themselves yet. That's another, another way that, um, it could be happening for some of you. Oh, that's interesting too. I've got the Ace of Cups on the bottom, which is love, love of self. Now, the next card out, I'm really interested to clarify because <laughs> I've got the Soul Shrinker, okay? And the Soul Shrinker can be a blessing or destruction. So let me see what I get. Okay, so this is really interesting. I got the Two of Pentacles, which is needing to maintain a delicate balance. So I think, yeah, there's going to be a choice here that comes up after this chaos, after you move through this hurt, okay? Um, it could be someone that hurt you or um, like a situation you decided to leave, right? And it could be coming back around or this person is coming back around. And you need to maintain what you found. And that's that uh, listening to your intuition, your passion, right? Going for what it is that you know your soul wants. And this right here, I've got the death in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. This is a choice. You can choose not to listen to your intuition, to go back to your old ways of thinking, right? But this also, for some of you, is going to be a person coming back around that you know is not good for you, okay? Um, they manipulate you. If this is a person, this is a, someone who manipulates you to get what they want. They don't express how they really feel. They actually just manipulate to get what they want. Um, this is also you. If if you if this is not a person, this can be you denying what you know to be true. So don't fall into that trap. Um, and that's what I see coming up for you because you're on the road to um success ascension up that ladder okay and you found it by going through this pain that's where you enter that dark lady um energy and you give up your the pa your the power to the higher self the divine self and it's like following this higher version of yourself you don't want to go back to what was not working what you know is not the right path for you. Now I also want to pull some, just some oracle messages for advice for you from my creativity oracle deck. So let me see what I get here. Okay, so I got the first one. I got is beliefs and it says we all have certain beliefs that help us or can trap us and keep us from moving forward towards creative solutions so this is about you letting go of those beliefs that are trapping you because um, this next one we got is wounds without support from the past or support from the past can cause oh okay they can cause low self-esteem that cripples action so again um, addressing that low self-esteem, listen to your intuition, see yourself, how you are seen by the divine God, the higher self, which is perfect, right? Um, because you were made perfect. Um, this says nurture, it says for self-care, try and loving and nurturing yourself as you would a child or pet. And then the last one is visualize. Um, when we visualize when we develop our abilities to visualize, we can manifest maximum influence on our experience or reality. So visualize that experience or reality that you want to see. 
So that is what I have for you. Um, if you want to see more, make sure and subscribe. And I want to thank you for liking the video. Comment down below if you have anything to say about it. And I will see you next time. Thanks.